One night several years ago, we were visiting my parents in Alabama. Our kids were in the living room with us when we told them to go back to the other end of the house to pick up some toys. They took off running out of the living room. Now, my parents' house was a long ranch-style house. You could get to the other end different ways. As they took off, I said to them, be careful. I could just imagine them running in different ways in a race to beat each other to the other end of the house and collide in the dark somewhere. Sure enough, about five seconds later, I heard this thud, and followed by crying. They came back into the living room crying. I said, what happened? They began to tell how they were racing each other. I said, did you not listen to me? They said, yes, we listened. I said, are you sure? Yes, we listened. We heard you. Then I said, did you fail to take heed to what I told you? Of course, that is the case. They heard me. They failed, though, to do as I said. A Christian life can be the greatest life with the greatest joy. But the Christian life can be a life of heartache and pain as well. It can be a life of misery. If we want to experience the Christian life that is full of joy and avoid the pain and suffering, we must take heed to what God tells us. In John 15, Jesus has been telling his followers what they should do. Then, in John 15, 11, he says, These things have I spoken to you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. Jesus said, the things I've told you will help you experience joy. Obedience to God out of love, bearing fruit, abiding in Him are all key to having joy. It's when we do not take heed that we miss out on joy. Psalm 107, 17 says, Fools, because of their transgression and because of their iniquities, are afflicted. Afflicted means troubled. We are warned that when we ignore God's instruction, we will deal with trouble. Proverbs 13, 15 says, The way of transgressors is hard. Living in a disobedience creates hardship. Living as God says puts us in position to experience God's joy. My children didn't take heed to what I said, and rather than continue with their joy, they experience hardship. As Christians, we must realize that what God tells us is best and will provide the path to joy.